purpose of this tutorial is to show you basic copying into WWE 2K17 from 2K16. The formats are very similar and so are the animation files. So in most cases you can do straight ports into the game. So today I'm basically going to show you how to copy a character that already exists in 2K17 from 2K16 as an alternate attire. Um, so the one that I decided would be a good candidate for this was Randy Savage. Um, he had an actual DLC download character um, attire versus his default attire in the game. So um, I believe his default attire is actually the default attire in 2K17, but he also had an alternate attire, which was like the full outfit as opposed to just the tights um, in 2K16. So I'm going to be porting over the full outfit into 2K17 and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is look at Possum's um, 2K16 and 2K17 character sheets and I already have them bookmarked. If you don't know where they are, they are in Smack Talks and you can find them there on the forums. So the ones that we're going to be looking at is you want to pull up the sheet and find the character that you want to port over. Um, I've already searched out the DLC version of Randy Savage, which is 197. And of course, there is the 2K17 sheet where we can find the destination, which would be um, character pack 232. So let's go find 197. So we'll go ahead and do that by going in here. We're going to go to our Steam folder, 2K16 pack CH. We are going to go ahead and find 197, and there he is, DLC. Um, so we want to go ahead and highlight both of those. We do a copy, and we are going to do this. Um, so I have a work in progress, but just for this tutorial, I'm going to create a simple folder called Macho Man. So we're going to copy the pack into there. Okay. As you can see, it says it's there now, right? So um, from there, we're just going to do a rename. So just to show you, in 2K17, our destination pack number will be 232. And as you can see, there's already one attire. Um, just as a reminder for my other tutorials, um, packs that end in 02 counts as in-ring attire, and the ones that end in 4 are entrance attires. So, so 2 is in-ring, 4 is entrance, and then the number next to it is the number of attire, starting at 0, going up to 9. So for this particular Macho Man, he only has one attire in the game. Um, as you can see, this other... Um, character here 244 you have actually two attires so but we're looking at this one for right now and as you can see that there's only one attire so we're going to make this attire two so you do an f2 that way you can rename and we're going to do 232 12 so you can do that for that one and 23214. Okay. But just renaming the packs isn't enough. So the next thing you need to do is actually open a hex editor, which in this case I use HXD. Okay. We're going to go ahead and highlight two of these and bring them over. And once we get in here, we have to make sure that this new number is what's referenced inside the pack. So what you can do is scroll down, you will find this EDM, and then the old pack number, which was 197. We're gonna change that to 232.12. We're gonna go over to the other file, 232.14, and close, save, close, yes. And as you can see, we have backups, we don't need those. And so now we have our alternate attire right here already. So what we're going to do next is copy these and we're going to put these into our 2K17 pack CH. 
And when we do that, now you can see that pack 232 has two attires, the default one and our new attire, which is Savage's full, you know, robe that we'll see in a second. So let's go ahead and close that. Go ahead and do that. Next thing we need to do is open up data editor for 2K17. Really nifty tool here, um, but what we're looking for specifically is going into tools. We're going to go to universal alternative attire uh, locker. So when you open this, it's going to ask you if you want to install. If you never installed this, you want to go ahead and do that, but I have, so we're going to click cancel. Okay, because that keeps all my settings that I already had in here. So, um, as you look through this list, you're not going to see Savage because I have not done anything with him. So we need to select a new ID. We're going to do 232, shows Macho Man. Number of attires, we're going to do two. Okay. Uh, we need to edit the tire names. We're going to look up number 28, which is Savage. And as you see, there is nothing here. What we're just going to do just going to do your default names. It should be attire one and two. We're going to say apply attire names for this wrestler. If you wanted to name these differently, you can hit this tab right here, string table. And what this will do is bring up the string pack. This is the default ones. And then if you go to number one here, yes, you can see a bunch of preloaded alternative names including uh, strings with colors attire one attire two you know there's there's quite a bit in here um, you know what we'll go ahead and do we'll go ahead and use attire one attire two um, for the sake of this example let's see yeah, I'm having some issues so We'll do a tire one. Okay. And then a tire two. Okay. We'll hit apply names for this wrestler. Okay. And then we're going to hit save. Okay. It's saved. We'll get and close that. And now we need to go back into here. And what we're going to do here is go to entrance and move side editor. Now this step is important if you want Macho Man to have victory music in his new attire that we're loading in. So we want to do a load full uh, move sets. We're going to go to templates and in here you have all the moves um, that are already preloaded actually for the last three games. And so, uh, but for specifically, we're just looking for Macho Man here. So it's going to load up all the stuff in here. And what we want to do is make sure that we check these three boxes. Um, you can edit anything else in here, but this is what we're focused on here. So we're going to hit save moveset, and then we're going to hit this button, install moveset to CCT. If you haven't set up CCT, you need to do that before you do this tutorial. So we'll hit that. Everything's preloaded here, ready to go. So the next step is we're going to start WWE 2K17. So let's let that load. Okay, we're here at the title screen, and the next step that we're going to need to load up the, let's see, make sure you're in the menu where you can select one-on-one, -on -one, one -on two go back here to CCT, make sure that the moveset that we created the Force of uh, Titantrons and Music on is selected. We're going to hit install. Yes? Okay, so we've done that. We can close that. Now we need to make sure that those settings that we just changed, which was um, setting the Titantrons and the music to play in all victory animations for um, the alternate tires, we need to go to his superstars. Yeah, we, you can select anyone. Aiden English is the first one. Crowd reaction, change to tier, hit spacebar. 
change it back to boo spacebar and now we've saved our changes and we want to go to new game we're gonna go ahead and just set up a match okay apparently I made a typo uh, when I did the data sheet but as you can see there are two attires here attire quote-unquote 10 is actually the one that we want to check which is the tire 2 Okay, so let's see what happens. And there he is. Minimal effort, and we have him ported in. That is Randy Savage's DLC attire from WWE 2K16. And he is walking down to the ring, Macho Man himself. As you can see, the animation's all there. He's hair moving, the tassels are moving. Everything is there. And that was a really quick process. You can do this pretty much for any 2K16 port, mod, uh, anything that you are is already in 2K16. Now, if you're moving things from 2K15, a little bit more involved there. I, there's a tutorial. Tutorial 1, um, I believe, is the one that can show you how to do that. So, um, only because animations aren't ported over the way they are in the... the 2k16 into 2k17 so but yeah 2k16 is pretty much what we're looking at and this is it so um as you can see macho man he has his full attire and we're good to go so with that said if you have any other questions or comments you can post them in the comments below or you can contact me on smack talks and i'll be happy to help so um, until next time Thanks for watching and have a good evening.